that music is passion and it's a calling. We just want to speak about music. Yeah. One thing I want to ask from you. No? Yeah, yes, sir. What's that one thing you feel like it's lacking in the music industry for now? One thing. Um, you are bro, like, it, you know, your, your question becomes so shallow if it's a like one thing because it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot, but okay, yeah. but anyway, yeah. Um, I think now what's lacking in, in, in music now actually, like, it's, it's visuals. No. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of music in Cape Town, bro, mm. but it's, it is not visualized. It is mm. not actually, you know, um, it's, it does not seem, mm. you know, we're living in a time now where um, people want to see now. They are more on TikTok than they are on Spotify, you know. So, yes, if you've got like a sound that you want to play on Spotify when people like when people are busy just listening, it's cool. But like also just like the visuals are very important in this time because people want to see, people want to see it on TikTok, on YouTube, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, number two, who put my picture is here looking stylish. Yeah. Who's your stylist and why is it important? Mm. For an artist to have a stylist, yeah, yeah, bro. Like, I'm glad you asked that question because actually, um, my stylist is Mko Sanikama, you know. Um, okay, yeah, so he has been like working on my image like okay. I, about a couple of years ago, you know. Yeah, so yeah, I saw the need, you know, um, for 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 actually like working on my uh, image yeah, because yeah. as an artist i believe that what you portray you know has to you know have a lot to do with how you also look and present yourself mm. so yeah Mkosa is actually um working over time and doing that you know shout out to him you know for uh, actually like yeah. 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 he's yeah he's and and all he's uh, he's down like to work with even other people, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah a, he's not just me to him. Man. He's a you know um, a fashion designer by profession. Is got a qualification it? on that. So yeah, is it? Yeah, for real, you know. And ah, this thing uh, up, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I think it is important for an artist, man, like really to have. Um, um, I think I've already said why it is important for yeah. an artist to have a look, man. Because I mean, yeah. also to come to think of it, you know. Art is being taken so granted in our community, you know, it's not respected actually. Yeah, yeah people, people are so, you know, um, um, misinformed about and they are overlooking it for sure. They are undermining yeah. it. It is up to us actually, you know, um, to put dignity and respect mm. in, in, in art about how we groom ourselves mm. and, and how we present our, ourselves out there yeah. you know because as much as we want to do this fashion thing and you know because i know the the, the image of art if you go back then it was something you know um that looks so it, it it's so busy it mm. looks so busy yeah, you yeah, can yeah. tell this person is a, is an artist and whatsoever and i'm not yeah, saying there's yeah. anything wrong in that but all I'm saying is that if we can, you know, um, start to groom ourselves in such a way that even kids grow, growing up, they're not asking uh, themselves, what is this person doing in life? What is, why is he dressing like this? But instead, like, I want to be like this when I'm old, you know? So we're trying to change the narrative, you know? Yeah. Um, that. So that is why I think it is best, you know, for artists now to kind of like, you know, groom themselves yeah. and work on their image and look so presentable and, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm asking myself as to, as an upcoming artist, right? Do I need to have a nine to five mm -hmm. so I can be dressed like this, or do I need connections for me to you, you, you look like this? You definitely need a nine to five. Is it? Your connection might, might work on your advantage, right? But all, you also need like a nine to five in terms of you don't want to, you know, exploit people. You don't want, always want to show up in people asking for favors. Mm -hmm. But if you can actually, you know, um, invest in your craft, so you need a job to, for you to be able to invest in your craft. So even if you have connection, but you can at least, you know, um, um, appreciate it yeah, yeah, by trying for some lunch, just yeah. to motivate them, you know, to yeah, make also. Yeah things easier for them to yeah. actually you know keep on working with yeah. you you know so this is what i would say like because also 
you know, for, for, for artists to look like me, you know, um, it has a lot to also to do with also how you, 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 you are, you know, who you are as a person. Because outside of me being just an artist, I'm also like a brother, I'm a father, I've got a five-year-old daughter. So, yeah, so, I mean, think about it. You you are a brother, uncle, a father, or a brother, or whatever, mm -hmm. and you are you need to be a good example also into the society. Mm -hmm. So for you to be taken for you know I'm um, um, serious by, by by the community, you need to at least you know um, show that you are a person who's capable to take care of you know yeah, responsibilities. Yeah. I think yeah. that is that is best if if you yeah. get the five a nine to five. But if yeah. you can make other hustles as well, you know how to make. Good legitimate money without you know uh, um, doing crime as so okay, what is written now so art it, what you are saying is that art when you're studying it out like yes it, don't it will rely never, on it yeah it will never have something know, else yes. to balance it so yes. that it's like the first stick yes have other sticks for you to grow it for sure. into something that that's that's the for sure man. For sure. Damn, damn. For sure. Because at the end of the day, that is how we also, you know, end up being taken for granted by um, our society. Because we wanna, you know, wear sticky pants, big fake chains, you know, mm. and um, and looking like, you know, I don't wanna mention name or Lil Wayne. Yeah. You know, that? And then, you know, you are the version of Lil Wayne that is broke though. So why can you be just like? Looking good, like just like for so how you 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 afford to like, show yourself. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Lil Wayne version that is broke, boys, boys, and, man. And, and, and then when you're walking on the road, people don't want to associate themselves with you. You know, an elder maybe you fight you, you pass an elder that needs your assistant, but can't trust you that you you looking like that. You you think that you might steal on her or something. Mm. So I mean, come on, man. Like we. We need mm. to do better. We need to, you know, kind of yeah. like change the narrative and think, you know, yeah. do things a little bit different. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm eager to ask this question as to how much have you spent in your career? Um, it's been ten years. Like it's been more than ten, 10 years actually. Yeah. Because because I started recording my music in 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 twenty in two thousand nine. Yeah. So the, I filmed you in end where. Right? Yes, in 2009, when I came to Cape Town, which is the title of the, you know, um, one of my songs. And yeah, and, uh, we were like a conversation yeah, about yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, so, so, I mean, I mean, you know, um, getting getting here to, to the point I, I'm at now, I just like took all the necessary steps before I can present this music to the people. Mm. Maybe you're gonna go to all these digital platforms and you're gonna see uh, my song was released this year or last year, mm. but I haven't started last year. I've been working on mm. this. I've been recording music, and you know I, I, I encourage this a lot even to an other upcoming artists. You know, to the kids who's doing music right now, yeah. they shouldn't even rush about um, releasing music because I've done that music. in the past. I've released music in all that the file host, mm. Sun, uh, SoundCloud, on those old platforms and stuff. Mm. Back then we used to, you know, upload music, but as you grow, you realize that music, it was, I'm not going to say it was whack, you know, because... Uh, it was whack, it, it was whack, man! <laughs> That's the only way you get to start music! It was whack, man! It was great or whack, yeah! All I can say it was like, yeah. you, you see it was sketch. You know, it's like music is like when you're drawing a picture, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you make a lot of sketch before and you yeah, throw yeah, them before away you, before you can have a proper product, view. So yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't like to actually other people said oh, it's good to to also see the sketch before the mm. but it, 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 it can work on your advantage, it can work on your disadvantage. So mm. I'm like why professional football footballers don't televise their training? You know, they, yeah, they yeah, document it, but yeah, they don't yeah. broadcast it. Why they yeah, yeah, broadcast yeah, yeah. it at first hand exclusively? It's, no, it's because no, of no, it's yeah. an improvement of entertainment. Music is also entertainment. Sport is entertainment. So if you yeah. want to entertain people, entertain people with less shit, bro. Like let's mm. let be honest. You don't entertain. Don't come to us because also it's gonna do a little bit of a damage mm. in your emotion when you're gonna. 
present something to us and then we we, we entertain by like, it. it yes we think, you as, know. as you thought you know yeah, because yeah, yeah. you see that it, it it still like needs a lot of improvement so mm -hmm. that's where we are now you know um, i've been working on this you can tell when you listen to my music you can tell that i've been around you know and i've improved and i've i've i've, I've paid the dues i've worked my way up here bro yeah, yeah for real yeah man, you're yeah. 10 years bro yeah and i can't believe that we are sharing the same age we were born in the first like the same year yeah i'm not gonna share our age but it's yeah keep that secret yeah my work has been um like too much for certain people mm. and even him he was calling me upu i'm like hey yeah, yeah i was yeah. getting chest pains as if i knew based on uh, yeah, yeah. what he had sent on his bio but now today yeah. generally i just like i just, just respect yeah, people respect, yeah, respect, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and even if i knew i think i would still call you that because like most of the time i'll be calling everyone like ah yeah. oh, man yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, especially if I see that this is like a man, I, just, I think it is yeah. only fair to yeah. just like. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, funny enough, who missed the Mavichero posted on social media that he sent me an email which he didn't send. Mr. Mavichero, I did. It's your time. <laughs> to show. Hey, brother, brother. Yeah. You. Who you you created some posts saying that yeah. people should speak to me, right? Yeah, yeah. Saying that um, you want you should be here on this platform. Yeah. Today I'm chatting to you. Yeah. So let's speak about um let's say the past mm. and saying that those people spoke to me, but what was going through your mind, man? Like what yeah. what created all of that um campaign that you had? Um, you know, um, I did send you the message actually at the time I was posting that post. I already sent the message, but I don't know somehow how it got delayed because you also managed to get it like after a day of you checking it. Like you said, you sent the, 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 the email, but I, I didn't get it. I don't yeah, know what I was replied, yeah, yes, I sent yes. you at the, get the email. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, actually, what inspired me to actually do that, man, like I wanted to show you know to the kids, like. This, um, uh, um, these preparations or the hustle that we do behind the scene before we yeah. can get seen I mean seen in, yeah. in, in these screens you know yeah. because um, most of the time we, we always see uh, artists you know being interviewed somewhere and then we don't know yeah. what initiated and what you know yeah. and yeah it doesn't matter really but for me I wanted to also show the kids that it's cool also for you to approach people you know mm -hmm. to knock at these doors you know mm -hmm. don't expect everything is gonna come to you so it was me actually showing that and actually showing the kids even if you are at my level but you still have to go to people and ask them to mm -hmm. you know um do uh, something for you and yeah. it's okay for that i mean to do that so it was just me like trying to bridge that gap because i know now as i'm I, I'm, I'm i'm actually growing you know older musically and as, as an artist as well i'm realizing that like the ego is kind of like getting into the way of, of artists and, and other you know um, um, um sure, parties yeah. in this industry because you know artists upcoming artists to be precisely they will be acting like you know um, um celebrated artist already or successful yeah, artist yeah. already you know and even if they they were to get to that stage i don't i really do not understand the ego part you know where mm. everyone i mean the the, the the honest truth mm. is that this genre it's like a sport you know um, mm. um it's a competitive sport yeah the, the, this um rap music and, yeah. and sort of stuff but I always tell artists that it takes absolutely nothing from you to actually credit another artist or supporting mm -hmm. someone, you know. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was just like showing th those, um, you know, um, hidden steps mm -hmm. that, you know, um, I've you been taken before you reach out to yeah. this, you know. And also, um, I knew already that we had a conversation, just like as we said earlier, that we we always wanted to, to work. But I was yeah. also showing, you know, the, um, 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 the people that um i'm doing it in a respectful way mm. ever possible i'm not gonna yeah. you know come to you just because of we had that agreement this certain yeah. time and i was like yeah bro 
we said we're gonna have yeah. uh, interview yeah. since yeah. about time, but like yeah. actually yeah. going to the formal yeah. channel yeah. and yeah. like you know yeah. saying that yeah. this is how it's yeah. done, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is how yeah. we got here. Yeah. 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 You know what, what 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 came into my mind yeah. first? Yeah. When I saw that post, yeah. I'm like, ah, my feature is putting me on blast. What? <laughs> Oh, sorry, man. Like, sorry. Oh, yeah. Do you know, you know, yeah. since I am, right? Since I am, I yeah, since I am, so the boys are like, I'm a pigeon. Yeah. I'm a I'm a um, cool, I'm a Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, like, okay, you can't yeah. let's, imagine. Let's sit down with it. Yeah. It's like the same. Yeah. You're confronting him. I'm like, hey. Yeah. Now, when I confront him, I'm like, hey. <laughs> I took hours, bro. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I saw you while I was here. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I'm not gonna respond now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You have to actually, yeah. you know, find out what was the energy, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And shout out to Caesar M as well, yeah, man. You know, yeah, Caesar uh, M. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah bro. Like m most of you know everything. I just make sure that when I do things, you know, I think before I, I act. You know, yeah. I, I really do. Even sometimes if I would do like something that you do not, you know, understand it first hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can rest assured that like I'm I'm a sober minded person, you know. Mm -hmm. I really think before I move, you know. So I, I also thought very well about that and I knew that whether you understood it at first hand or later, mm -hmm. but it would all come down as as a, as a positive, you know, yeah, um, um, portrait out there. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Right now I'm, I'm working on new music, yeah. which is why I, 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 I also, yeah, 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 yeah. Is, which is why, which is why I also like now do these such interviews, you know, yeah. so that people can also get to see me and to get to know mm -hmm. me because mm -hmm. I've came to, I've came in terms as to understanding as much as it's been ten years I've been doing this, yeah. I haven't put it myself out mm -hmm. there so much. So now I'm starting doing that. And uh, I thought like the first person I want to do that with is you because of that um, um, uh, short interview we did last year. Yes, of yeah. course. Yeah, man. I'm working on an album, you know, titled Dear Diary. You should look out for that. Um, and actually, it's actually done. I can't say that. It's, it's actually done. It's just yeah. me sometimes being a perfectionist that I am that is so yeah. unperfect. I mean, imperfect to always put those little details, you know, last touch, you know, yes, yeah. you know, but the, the album is done though. Um, so I will release it like um, as soon as, you know, I think it is safe and it is right to do so. so there's no yes. date, but there is no date yet okay. because I did want to release it last year already. And then is for whatever it? reason, for some reasons that were so valid, you know, after sitting down so many people who have experience in this industry, I sat mm. back and I sat down, I was like, yo, I don't think it is the right time to release it. You know, mm. yes, but in due to right time, I will release it. But for now, I would keep dishing good music, you know. Yeah. I would keep dishing good music. There are songs that um, were supposed to be on that album that I would just like click out. Now nah, I just give people, you know, and, yeah. and there's definitely more visuals. I'm gonna drop more visuals mm -hmm. before this year ends. I will drop another video, yeah. you know, and I will drop a song that I think people would really, really like, you know, mm. because I'll be working with um, artists that they are so familiar with. You know, yeah. that's they really really love, you know. So yeah, it's when they have like share like, share sh the energy. Mm -hmm. Or if uh, you want to, you don't have to. Ah uh, no, don't worry. If you want by the time by the time this interview drops, I would already have all the details on my account, you know. So uh, people should follow me. Uh, yeah, yeah, should people should follow me on Facebook. I am King Mavijero, you write yeah. my king with the X. You know, replacing the eye. So yeah, I'm Kim Mavijero on Facebook, and then you can follow me on TikTok as well. I'm trying to be active on TikTok as well. Yeah. So on TikTok, I am officially underscore Mavijero. Yeah. I think it's Mavijero underscore um, official on TikTok, and then on on Instagram, it's mm -hmm. official underscore Mavijero. So yeah, man. Um, people should check um, um, those updates. You know, very soon I'll be dropping them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, what's currently happening? on your end when it comes to music like mm -hmm. do we need to go search there yeah what about the nine years do we have something happening for us okay where we can get a taste yeah um, i'm actually you know on 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 a process of trying to move um 
my music that I, I've released on all these old school platforms yeah. had like taken down all my music there because to begin with like that music was not even registered. I wasn't yeah. even I didn't even know what to do at the time. Yeah, yes. like, so now I'm I'm starting realizing now that still even though they were you know they are not as much shared as the music that I make now but they are still like solid product that I can still sell so I'm still like in the process of trying to actually upload that on my you know on all okay. these um, current sure. digital platforms yeah. that are being used yes but you can search me on Spotify like I've got a uh, you know an account on Spotify you can follow me on Spotify as well I've got I think two releases that are on my Spotify you know yeah. profile for now which is yeah. Sobonana and um, Uride you know the one that right, I've just released yeah. right now. Yes, so I'm um, sorry. Yeah. I can perform the line. Ah, later, I'm but just asking, are you, are you keen? Yes, I am. Okay, I am, I am. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Give me the whole song if you want to. Yeah, you I just want to promote yeah. you, man. Okay. Like, okay. I know, I know okay. you yeah, personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they might not know it. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, um, so there was who write out the, the audio and, and, and the video is out. Mm -hmm. So, right now, actually, um, just like as I said, I'm going to release something else. But if you're asking like what's going on in the corner right now, it's to make my music being available on digital platforms. Yeah. Even the songs that you know, or you've had me performed once, you know, or how you've saw me releasing once, they are all gonna be on my, you know, um, Spotify and other actual channels as well, yeah. like iTunes, you know, um, um, you know, um, Deezer. Deezer. Uh, your name Kid, yeah. Distro Kid is actually a distributor, so you're gonna find. I'm using uh -huh. Dito, but you're gonna find it also on on YouTube everywhere, everywhere. Um, even though I'm I'm releasing my music like consciously on selective store, uh, uh, but you're gonna get pretty much to all the digital platforms yeah. that you you, you uh, your favorites that you're streaming mm -hmm. your music from. Yes, so that's what I'm gonna do now, right now. So expect a lot of music from me. Mm, yeah. 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 Can't wait. Yeah. Because yeah. put my picture is gonna do his thing for us. Yeah. Like when we speak about energy music, this is the guy you should listen to because um I listen to one song. I don't think it released that one. Hey! Yeah, hey. Yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. People were surprised, you know, people were surprised when I actually like Release the song like who ride, you know, because they know yeah. me as a conscious rapper, which is yeah. also my comfortable space. But I needed yeah. to grow. Like lately, I saw how trap music is being celebrated, and mm. then it's being, you know, um, um, perceived. That I was like, yeah. damn, let me, you know, um, jump yeah. on this. Because yeah. I mean, if, yeah. if if you are a talented rapper, you gotta be flexible and you gotta be, you know. So I, sure. I, I, I definitely sure. didn't find difficulties in in trapping, which yeah. is why. The first release, the first official release on my digital platforms was all right because yeah, yeah. I mean, as we are heading towards what to say, but that was the the energy that energy. I was like, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I was not happy about like how you know um, niggas be moving in in, 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 in Cape Town, you know, yeah, because I mean, I, I, I think um, uh, Jiggy was in, in Cape Town, I mean, was in Johannesburg. Couple G of weeks, Jiggy. Uh, there's there's an artist from here in Philippines called Jiggy. Jiggy. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know you should check him out. Like he's he's dope. So um he was actually addressing some couple of things like from Johannesburg that the Cape Town hip hop scene is actually being you know um um um, um stained and you know um um damaged by people who have a potential of actually you know um lifting it up you know. People now, yeah. we've, we've been, I mean, this has been a topic that we've been seeing. Like for, for, for quite some like, time, yeah. For quite some time, you see the same post, same lineup, same, like, people, you, you can tell that whether, you know, um, we've, we've got a lack of, you know, um, organizers in, in a city, or our organizers, like, are same people who keep promoting their yeah, same friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I, you, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As much as I, I do believe, and I'm not even speaking on my behalf, you know, I might not be known that much, but I'm just speaking about mm. all other artists that I know for sure that have been putting music out there, but like have been, you know, um, sidelined when it comes to all these events, you feel me? And um, shout out to Bravo for Israel to like what, what he what he did 
um, last year was actually so dope, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of that dude, like, I yeah. really like how he moves, you know. I like his energy, I like his team's energy. Mm. But I feel like we need, like, we need more um, 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 people who are actually, you know, um, you know, conscious, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, who are conscious about actually putting um, the Cape Town music industry yeah, yeah, on the yeah. map again, you know, because we need to make Cape Town great again, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that is like an agent, you know, um, alarming message that we should be actually paying attention on. Because, I mean, yeah, too, if you, yeah. you get to think about it, like, now the attention is in Cape Town. Look at all these artists that Cape Town has just produced, right? But when it comes to events, we have to have organizers that know what they are doing. We have to have organizers that are passionate about putting Cape Town, you know, in the map and making sure that the industry is living in Cape Town. We cannot be seen like saying people over and over, you know, when there's a lot of artists like dope artists with a lot of music, good music that is being played on the streets. You know, but being sidelined deliberately, mm. you know. Um, so yeah, man, like that just that, that just like doesn't make yeah. me happy right now. And also, as we speak about earlier on, the, the, the ego thing, you know, in upcoming artists is gonna heal, you know, not only them to reach their, you know, um, um, um best heights, but also the, the industry in large. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so it's like a, a chain. On a triple thing that way by mm. uh, if this apple is rotting the whole pack is going to be rotting exactly yeah and and it's not like it's not like we don't know who these people are we i mean we know that you know um if if you 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 are a musician or you are an event organizer and you have a friend that is a musician you are mostly likely to help that friend right but i mean let it let us not be make it so you know um um ah, ah, that guy well, you know we, we're pushing our own thing here you know yeah yeah, yeah. there's no need for yeah. that like, so you gain popularity based on your friends yeah instead of your talent of, of your talent that's yeah. why that's what it's gonna get to if you think about it mm -hmm. it's gonna get to the point now where people like put put each other on for how they know each other behind the yeah. scenes not for the music that they're putting out there yeah. and then this music thing is not even ours bro like this is way bigger than us yeah. this is something that has been happening and then that will still you know um happen in in, in the next generation so i yeah. think yeah. We, yeah. we we are at a point now right now i was having you know a conversation with kid kaba not long ago mm. and and we were saying uh, with kid kaba he was saying actually that um the whole industry in, in, in South Africa now is, is, is you know, um, swifting and paying attention in Cape Town, right? And then people are putting their music out there like they, they've got a chance to shine and to show themselves mm -hmm. because now they know, they, they are actually realizing what is happening in Cape Town. Look at how Bravo is putting us on the map. Look at how, you know, um, 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 yeah, yeah, the koala. Oh, that's really. Oh, I, I just said the koala. If you don't want to mention it, yeah, no, bro. It's like, fine. Um, I was, um, I was, I was thinking CPT. about. Yeah, youngster CPT, of course. You're talking about like um, Lero the Hustler, Kid Kappa. Yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. about. We're talking about also um this this guy, man, like Tom. Uh, to, there is a lot, man. Yeah, there, yeah, there, are yeah, lot there are a lot of them. Are a lot of them. Yeah, By the way, I, I, I had to address this, bro. Like, yeah, bro. When, 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 when we, we are saying that, um, or I personally mentioning yeah. people who are putting us in when the map, the, yeah. putting Cape Town, my city, yeah. you know, especially representing even the hoods like Kylie Cha, where I'm coming from. Yeah. I'm talking about people who are doing that like positively. People who are painting a good image and a good, Shut you know. Up, brother. For for me, um, um, Dikwana haven't been doing it. Have been haven't been doing that for me. And I'm just gonna say, it, you know, here. That's the truth. Yeah, it's not. It's not true. You know, so we, we need we, yeah. we need to we need, we need platforms like this where we yeah, can yeah. freely, you know, speak and yeah. you know and say things as yeah. as they are. For me, I think she, I think she can rap. I think she can rap, she's dope, she can do it like the best, you know, possible way mm. I know how, you know, she's, she can do that. But I mean, 
we're gonna, you know, I'm shy away from the fact that what she represents about K nature is that it made a culture, you know, a particular, you know, a say uh, I mean, with that that has been her story ever since she came up. That's how yeah. I know her. Yeah. I know, like, it made a culture into a particular. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. I, and I'm getting fed up with these, you know, female um, um, rappers that actually represent, um, um, you know, um, um, the, the negative side of the hood. Actually, I, I posted a post, you know, uh, just a couple of days ago, which was misinterpreted by a lot of people, where it, it seems like I'm saying that or I have a thing with female rappers, or I'm saying that they are wet. Now I'm not even like about that, like my energy about them. Female rappers need to get to a point where um, we are not even saying female rappers when we're talking about them, but we are just saying rappers. Mm. You know how they can get to that stage? It is only when they can take away, you know, um, these men, you know, um, 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 characters in their raps. Mm. How many times have you have you heard about like a female rapping in Cape Town saying that? Ijani, uh, what not like? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Why are you in Ijani? Like, yeah, you imagine, yeah. um, can you imagine a, a rapper that is a male that can say sassy things and then being received in a scene as as, 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 as a community? Yeah, but... You know, you, you now by doing that, they are showing us that in their mentality, still they are still you know viewing this as a man thing. So that is why when they rap, they wanna you know um wear. A, 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 a male, a, a male, you know, um, 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 outfit, um, outfit yeah, for them to to say, uh, like of, of which they don't even need to do that. They don't need to do that, and I would never take them serious as but long the as they still do it. It it is male dominated, and they should come in and do their thing. I'm so, oh, you know, I'm so hungry for them to do that. I, this is what I want them to do. So I want them to invade yeah. the space and do their thing because they can. But is this female, female? I just want to take a cut. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to this thing. Yeah, yeah. Female can it's rap, bro. They can uh, rap. They they are dope. They have got a lot of subjects they can rap on. But as long as they're gonna tell us about just Yanni and oh Yanni, so all that nonsense for me, I don't take the, yes. The but uh, otherwise, yeah. like I'm, I'm really you know loving the the the, the wave. You know the concept, the idea that they are attempting it, but they are studying it, but for someone like me, I'm not going to be sitting here, you know, um, as if I'm, I'm, I'm begging anything from them, saying that hey, they are nice because they are so hyped. They are so hyped. Most of them, they are not even there yet, you know, but it's just that they are capable of putting their music out there and then it's cool. Yeah. But they are so hyped so much because of, of the need. Even I have the need, also I see the need of female in the scene, right? Yeah. But because of that need from other people, they are being hyped because of how desperate people are for them to do their thing in a hip hop scene. But yet they are not there. But also, uh, um, I'm, I'm acknowledging, you know, those that are, are really coming out there, like people like um, uh, uh, um, um, Liz Lane, uh, Liz yeah, Lane, Liz yeah, Liz Lane, Liz Lane. Uh, um, yeah, Lane. and 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 um, who, who else? Um, Liz Lane, there is Liz Lane, there is. Brilli, brilli, brilli. Oh, yeah. I, I really love that. Yeah, like, really? You must be next here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, she, 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 she she's yeah. dope. And, um, and, yeah, I mean, if, uh, if, if I saw if I, if I is actually like. Ah, I'm just saying something. you are not putting those words, but. No, 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 no. It's no. the women that I'm seeing. Also, I'm not gonna see. act. Also, I'm not gonna act like I've never saw them. I've saw her. Ah, but say they are aware, but say my friend, they are aware. No, they are, they are, they are, they are, you know, they are, they are, they are there, they are there, they are coming there, you know, they are, but it's, you know, um, I, I just, I just wish they could just like mind that, you know, mm. what content they, they yeah, are putting, yeah, because yeah, wow. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan, man, like even, um, you know, um, there is now this energy in female rappers, you know, that's, to just to show you how um, they are copying the whole thing that is done by men instead of doing their own thing. Mm. There is this now trend of them, you know, playing boys and then rapping about it. I had a song like I, I had a song at least late yeah, also yeah, yeah. dropped like called Ipolisa, a very dope song. Ipolisa, yes, Ipolisa. People should check it out. But also, the, I was disturbed, you know, by the concept of it. 
the fact that women are coming out publicly to promise to us yes and yeah. then yeah. being play girls yeah, 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 yeah. like there yeah. is also Olanduga uh, or TMT TMT is also TMT. like TMT TMT yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's a dope female yeah I mean um, the list the list like it's it, I, I, it's endless I know I know there are a lot of like now young female artists like coming up in a game yeah. right they the list now is, is getting like long and long and long. Yeah. But I think they should just like, you know, um take note, I mean. Cause I mean to 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 be honest with you, if there is in that voice or there is in that person that actually calls people out when they are doing nonsense, mm -hmm. like bro, like the this this industry is gonna be fucked up. And yeah, I take yeah. it on my shoulder, unfortunately, yeah. you know that yeah. I'm, I'm I'm gonna be that, that guy who's gonna say mm -hmm. what's not it's not bro, mm -hmm. like period. Yeah, understand because unfortunately I put it my own life as well on this thing, you know. Mm. So we are all in this doing this, it's our thing now, it's not your thing, it's not my thing, it's ours. So we're gonna take charge of it. Like if I'm doing something wrong, mm. I'm gonna be called out by those who are doing who are fellow artists like me yeah, doing it. You feel me? Yeah. So this is that's the space that we are creating. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no hate, you know. I've been trying to explain myself about it, like there's no hate. You know, female um, 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 should come, should invade the spaces that mm. um, has been predominantly by males unnecessarily, just because of their males. You mm. understand? And also, I was saying, also us, we should also not be praised when we are playing girls. We are over that. Like, we need to raise now a community and a society of black. You know, young people in particular, yeah. males to be precisely, yeah. that are responsible. You yeah. know, that are responsible. We cannot have, we cannot be, you know, saying that this shouldn't be done by females, whereas it is not good looking either when it's done by males also mm -hmm. you know yeah, we, this yeah. this is not something that we're gonna be tolerating rapping about otherwise kids are watching now i'm a father so i think i, I, I take it upon to myself yeah. now to actually speak out because my kid is gonna grow and know that his father was a rapper mm -hmm. and then he's gonna want to figure out what is this rap that my father was all about mm -hmm. and then he figures if he figures it out that she i mean she figures it out that it's about you know um, um, embracing being a player, being a womanizer, and then what are we actually teaching our kids? Yeah, 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 so sure. this is just about that. So yeah, man, shout out to you, man. Um,